I might name him after uh, Steven Crowder, who is the, is that the guy's name? Kraut Cedar? <laughs> his nickname would be Kraut Cedar. Is I'm going to name him want? after my, is that what you want? Favorite, um, my favorite uh, Fox News provocateur now. Provocateur. How about uh, the name provocateur? Let's let's talk about this because I'm gonna, I want you to show. Do you, have you, now, have you not heard this story? Uh, no, I have not. But I, I can't believe I, I'm I'm thrilled. Uh, if if a fox guy was assaulted, <laughs> I I'm, I am in. I'm not a violent person, but I, but I'll take it. I mean, if it's if it's directed towards people who deserve it, and I'm not talking about pettiness in my personal life. I'm talking about cultural criminals like this, fox people, and 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 liars like Christie or Michelle Malkin, all those people. And and I want to go out on a limb here and say I'm against misogyny. You know me, Sam. No, you I know. know. You, you I am know. against misogyny. Unless <laughs> unless you want to aim it towards Coulter or Malkin or Elaine Chow or any of those people, then I'll take it. Well, then I'll it's not it. really technically misogyny because it's not uh, it's I'm just, just so, saying I'll take it any a, way I can get it. The, the ill will be. any way I can get it against those Cultural you want to put that uh, that yeah. that out there. You want to put them in a cultural prison, a uh, cultural punishment. I'm effort. just saying, any avenue towards disliking people who are harming us as a society and preventing us from evolving, uh, I will take it. They're anyway, doing their best, anyways. I don't they, know if they're, they're actually a, a, succeeding. They don't succeed uh, ultimately, but they do a, a hell of a job in the meantime while we're trying to evolve. That's right. All right. So, well, let me tell you this story about this Stephen Crowder. Yes. Who apparently uh, in Canada on Sun News has his own uh, segment called Crowder Louder or Louder Crowder or something. Mm -hmm. um, and he is. I'm going to assume that's wrong because you said it. Well, what is it really called? I, I, I apologize. That's all right. I, I no, feel I, like, I understand I what you feel like more than I do on this. It one. was Crowder okay. Louder. I, I watched uh, okay, it. Okay. Okay. Louder just, Crowder. Just, doesn't you matter. tend to get that stuff. Does it doesn't even matter. I mean, it's. All right. It's fine. Go ahead. It, you're right. It doesn't matter. Doubter Crowder. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, let, let's let's not, let's check. And so Wikipedia. this guy, <laughs> this guy, shot some footage of him getting beat up, or his cameraman. Mm -hmm. He's a Fox News contributor, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, stringer or moron. And he uh, was at the Michigan rally in Lansing when all the union guys were there. Um, he was by the AFP tent. You know, the Americans for Freedom, Prosperity, whatever it was, mm -hmm. set up their Freedom Agenda tent, mm -hmm. uh, basically to instigate, you know, some type of problems with the yes, union Yes, because a tent full of hate has elastic walls. They All are welcome. <laughs> All are welcome. And this guy, uh, I played a clip of him on Hannity yesterday where he's talking to like, I got into a tussle with these people. There were, there were, it started off with, there's, there were women in that tent. And then there were women and old people in that tent. By the time the segment was over, there were women and old people and children in the tent. Now, I don't know why there were children in the AFP tent. There's no video record of them being there, mm -hmm. but, you know, they're very small. They could be right. hiding in the blades of grass. Uh, and so here he is, however, when he got questioned as to, as to the footage in the tape. Now, in the tape that he sent around, he's getting punched in the face. What the tape doesn't show is that he went up to a guy who was doing nothing, you know, yelling maybe, but doing nothing, and pulled him down to the ground. Mm -hmm. And when the guy got up, the guy punched him in the face. Right. As, as I am certain that nobody uh, just punches this guy unprovoked. There's, right. there, there's, and I'm sure he did anything he could to provoke Absolutely. This people. is the best thing that's ever happened to his career. As of you know, two days ago, I never heard the guy's name ever. I mean, I have heard of like crowd, and I've heard of loud, but I've never heard of loud or crowder or whatever it is. So here he is in, uh, in Canada talking, and he admits, he basically admits what happens, all right? All right, let's fast forward here. Good timing? Well, that depends how Hold you look on. at it, I'll Steve Crowder. No, 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 keep it up. Call him a friend. He's on the show every Wednesday with Loud with Crowder. Steve. Louder with uh, Crowder. All right, all right, that's the right. part I want to show, I, uh, just to I'm make sure. I'm overworked, okay. overtrained, underrested, and apparently still tough enough to take a full shot in the button from a union thug. So it's another day above That ground. was spontaneous, right, by no, the way. He yeah, just he thought is, of it. He yeah, did yeah, not yeah, practice, practice that line in any way. Have. This has not only gone viral, it's been on pretty much every news station. We're going to see now a, a minute and a bit of what happened uh, when Steve was in, in a completely nonviolent way interviewing uh, union protest. Oh, yeah. my Lord. Right. Look at what a thug he is. He looks like a frat guy that language, would make your life miserable in school. Let's skip ahead. Well, you know, I think in this country the police would have intervened. However, uh, I have experienced that there was an assault to me at York University. Uh, luckily, I had someone with me who was trained in this area. The police refused to press charges. David Menzies was, was punched by a Muslim fanatic 
uh, and the police See, in virtually Canada, mocked him and wouldn't even walk back too. with yes, him and his children to the car to give him some sort of protection. So were there any but Christian we fanatics can involved in this? easily no identify way. here. We can see the man there who... Has, he's not pushing you, he's punching you repeatedly. Oh, now, surely even right. out of embarrassment Satisfying. alone, the police would feel obliged to arrest this, this moron. Right, well, of course, and listen, I went in completely non-violently asking questions. Did sure. I provoke them? Well, I provoked in thought. I provoked, it, I provoked debate. <laughs> right. I asked them why they were against right to work. I asked them why they would oppose someone... Uh, who is not union and doesn't want to join a union, why they should be penalized. I asked them these questions, which they penalized. thought uh, merited me being punched in the face. He's yeah. an intellectual. And He's I've been very honest about this. The fact that He's as they started ransacking him. the tent, yeah, me and some men went out there while there were women and people in the tent, older people, some people in wheelchairs, by the way, in the tent. And we, didn't no, the, no, and we do not and allow women or the, the disabled tent. To be that is anywhere true. near we our tried tents. to push them off the tent that they were destroying because, as you saw, women See, were. Does he look like he's there asking coals, questions? There are beams. There were pots of hot coffee. There were hot dog this stands guy. in mm -hmm. that tent. Okay, it was hot a dog tent. stands. Hot dog, hot dog stands. And what and could be more American except for Canada? See, look, that's the guy. He takes that guy. There's a clip. Now he clips. Now that guy's on the ground. Yeah. Me like you. About three hundred to one. You know, thousands of people to only a few AFP protesters. And to literally see the walls. The walls of your one sanctum coming in while people yell, get the F out of my state. F them up. F them up. One more tent. Do you realize the terror that goes through your mind when this occurs? Sure. I Especially can't. when there's oh, women gosh. and hot but, dogs. But he basically. <laughs> Some of the women were menstruating. <laughs> the, the guy admits we did try to push them off the tent. That's true. We tried to push them off the tent. Why is a reporter going in and attacking the people uh, you know, a supposed, you know, just, I'm just there asking questions. Now we did get a bunch of guys together and go over and grab them and pull them down on the ground, but then they punched me. It's indicative of, it doesn't matter where you live or, or, or what era, uh, the, the right, well, let's call it right wing nature or the, this conserve quote unquote conservative nature, this type of guy, whether he be in Canada or anywhere else or America, it's the same person over and over the same, uh, personality Issue. Oh, it's all the pathologies that afflict the human condition <laughs> are, are, are what make it be a right winger. Even in Canada, where you think people, it should be nice. I'm in Canada. I, you know what I mean? But there's always people, uh, whether it be neurological issues, nature, nurture, whatever it is. But uh, this guy is no different than the guy on the playground that was. Right. Was a bully. He's a bully now. He is he has pretended it's political. He has pretended that there's policy behind it. But he is just a person who is um, a, a has I a terrible also... personality. And that's what makes it be a right winger. And I, th I think there's also an entrepreneurial quality to what he's doing, to be fair. He's being opportunist. Yes. Uh, that yeah. doesn't not make you. Right. An ass. Right. No, uh, indeed. And in, in the direction that he's going, the way, I mean, there's, Ben and Jerry uh, have, have that spirit, that business spirit. <laughs> yeah. That's a different thing, <laughs> yes. you know? Yeah, I don't think this guy, th this guy's no Ben Cohen. No, I'll say.